Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your favorite YouTuber, Dando Sutole. I'd like to welcome all my subscribers, returning and new subscribers. Hey, my beloved, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click down the button below and subscribe. So it is a part three of a four part series of overcoming your fears. We have built the foundation by knowing your identity, built up the wall by embracing our small beginnings. Today, we are learning the power of persistence so that we can overcome our fears and be great giants because we are bold and courageous. Let us just understand what persistence means. So to be persistent, it means to continue without change, without doubt, without fear, continuing with what you believe in. A synonym for persistence is perseverance and patience. So today we are going to understand the power of that. I believe that it will help us overcome our fears. And as we have established our small beginning, and we are embracing them we will conquer we will be victorious let me not waste any of your time and let's get right into the video our scripture reference for today comes from the book of daniel 10 verse 12 to 13 and it reads he said do not be afraid daniel since the first day you began to pray for understanding and to humble God. yourself your request has been heard in heaven. I have come to answer your prayer, but for 21 days, the spirit of prince the kingdom of, of Prisa blocked my way. Then Michael, one of the archangels, came to help me. And I, and I left him with the spirit of prince of the kingdom of Prisa. This is the word of the Lord. So at the beginning of this verse, it says, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not fear. Do not be anxious. Ungasabi, don't be afraid. You know, believe in what you believe in. You have already started. You have built a foundation. You know who you are in Christ. You know who you are. So don't be afraid. Move. Don't be afraid. It is a command. That is a command for us to not be afraid because that is the secret actually of overcoming your fears. Daniel even prayed for 21 days. He prayed and fasted for 21 days, which shows a character of persistence. So you need to pray and you need to pray for what you believe in. Do not pray once and forget your prayer, but pray continually. Pray without ceasing. All it takes is for that one prayer, that one prayer that you need to pray. Kneel down before God and surrender everything to him humble yourself and pray pray continuously Daniel prayed for 21 days for the same thing he was so persistent in his prayer and God had answered him so pray pray that is the solution to everything pray prayer it is to bring what is inside of you and speak it with your mouth because we know that we have the power to speak and to move mountains by our words. So prayer, prayer is bringing out what is inside of you, your burning desires, your burning worries, your fears, everything that you have that's built up inside of you, you bring it outwardly. So prayer, through prayer, you can move mountains. Through prayer, you can do a lot. You can do a lot. Is having a conversation with God, even though you cannot see him, but you can feel his presence once you pray so pray 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 even in the book of luke 11 it says that pray keep asking god because when you ask you shall receive when you knock on these doors they will be open when you seek you shall find so pray my dear beloved pray do not be afraid Pray and humble yourself to God. God does not want a perfect person, but rather wants an honest person. So be honest. Be honest to God. Be honest with yourself and just have a conversation with him. Have a conversation with him and all your answers will be in the Bible, you know. Read the word of God. Meditate upon it and just pray. Pray. Have a conversation with God. That's all it takes. Be honest. Be honest because perfection I come to perfect. There's no one who's perfect on earth. So just, just humble yourself before the Lord. 
and be honest. The scripture continues to read that I have come in answer to your prayers. So all our answers are in God. Once you pray, you will find your answers in God. Our answers are in God. He holds the solution. He holds the keys to our destinies. He holds the keys to our doors that are locked. Like everything, every single thing is in God. Go back to the Father. Go back to the Creator. For He created you. Go back to Him. Pray and be persistent in your prayer. Even in the book of Testilotions, it says pray at all times. All you have to do is pray. Pray at all times. Be a friend of God. Whether you're happy, you sad, you anxious, you fearful, you are in discomfort, you need courage, just pray to God. Let God be your friend. Allow God into your life. One thing that God has given us and he cannot control is the power of will. The power of will. We need to be willing. Like God can create a human, but he cannot force a human to be born again. He cannot force a person to go to church. All you have to do, you need to have the willing power to do something. Say that you can take a donkey to the river, but you can never force it to drink water. So I speak to you and talk to you through these videos each and every day and encourage you to overcome your fears. But if you are not willing there's nothing like there's absolutely nothing that i can do i have no power god has no power over you because you need to be willing to change you need to be willing to overcome your fears you need to be willing to pray you need to be willing to allow god to be your friend apply the element of persistence in your prayer and all everything it shall be well God will answer. Trust me. God will answer. He is still speaking until this day. You know, he is not sleeping. He is not sleeping. He is surely alive. And believe in God. Believe in your prayer. And be persistent. Do not give up. Do not. Hold on. Hold on, my beloved. Hold on. Hold on. Like, push through push through continue praying continue continue be persistent do not be fearful never allow fear to overcome everything no you are overcoming fear right you are overcoming fear be persistent the book of daniel continues to read that but for 21 days the spirit prince of the kingdom of Prussia blocked my way this shows that Daniel had to be persistent in his prayer because for 21 days, his prayers, his answers were blocked because it says before that God had answered you from the first day, but the spirit blocked, it blocked all your answers. So sometimes we, um, we give up so easily, we give up so easily and God has already answered our prayer, but we have given up first day but there is something that is blocking our prayers you know something that is holding our 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 blessings but we need to be persistent because it's but we need to be persistent because daniel prayed and fasted for what he believed in for 21 days and for that 21 days the spirit was holding the spirit prince was holding that blessing it was holding his answers so we need to be persistent in our prayers we need to break every chain that's holding back our blessings we need to break whatever spirit that is holding our blessings we need to break it god has already answered us we need to push through and break every chain that is holding us back we need to like i can't i cannot emphasize this enough like we need to be persistent we need to push through we need to believe in ourselves and our prayers and break through the chains and obstacles are only blocking us from moving to the next level we need to overcome. To be a victor, you need to overcome whatever challenge that you are facing. In this regard, fear is what is blocking us from moving to the next level and being the best versions of ourselves. So we need to remove that fear, you know. We have fear of what if questioning our abilities and questioning our worth and ourselves asking ourselves what if i will not make it what if it won't work out what if i fail turn those questions and ask yourself what if you make it what if you win what if you conquer 
what if you are the next billionaire or millionaire so let us let us shift our mind and let us not have negative questions but rather positive questions what if you will win what if i make it imagine 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 yourself being the next great thing you know like god has given us so many things in abundance there is room for you stop thinking that you are too late or you are too old go for whatever you're dreaming of and never let fear hold you back don't don't move babe move 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 over that fear get over that obstacle over the challenge you know and don't allow the spirit prince to hold you back do not allow him move move try give it one more try try again let's see what happens try again but this time try through prayer tell god tell god what you want tell god where you're heading like tell him have a conversation with him you know let him be your friend try again what if you win i mean what's there to lose try again try again what if you win if it works out this time do not allow fear and never allow fear to block your way crush that prince crash it you know crash that spirit prince that's blocking your way crash that fear you are great you are strong you are courageous you are the light of the world and remember remember you are not a candle light but you are a light of the world a light on top of the hill that is who you are if you haven't watched my know your identity video which is part one of the series please go check it out i leave the link in my description so know who you are you know who you are already and you are embracing your small beginnings all you have to do it is to be persistent so that you can flourish you know so that you can be known like believe in your prayer be persistent in all that you do be persistent in all that you do my dear beloved do not be afraid what if it is your time you know it is your time it is your time trust me you are the light belt on the hill and you cannot be hidden never ne when mm, mm, no babe ne i saw this. god will always make a way for you trust me the book of daniel continues to read that then michael one of the archangels came to help me so in whatever that you are praying for, God will always send you a destiny helper. He will never leave nor forsake you. He will send someone to help you, you know. The Archangel Michael. Archangel okay. Michael. Okay. Oh, that one, that one, he is a fighter, I'm telling you. That one, ah, he will fight for you in the days of battle. He will be your safeguard. Like, trust me. So let us just humble ourselves before god because even even when a challenge or obstacle comes before us god will always make a way trust in him he will make a way even in this book of Daniel, he states that he has sent the archangel michael to help you to help him so he will help you god god will never leave or forsake you you are surrounded by angels you know you are surrounded by angels the archangel michael will fight for you he will fight for you and he will make a way believe in god believe in god and and do not just pray for something once and give up it, it took 21 days for the spirit prince to release the blessing so you too be persistent in your prayer don't give up and don't give in to your fears or to whatever challenge that you are facing always remember that you will be fruitful in every season whether it is a good season or a bad season you will be fruitful trust in god and know that you will be fruitful in dark seasons you'll bear fruits of patience you'll bear fruits of perseverance you know so always remember that you will be fruitful know your identity in christ know who you are spend more time reading the word of god spend more time meditating upon the word of god so that you can know your identity and know who you are in god be persistent do not pray once and forget pray without ceasing pray until something happens knock knock on those doors go go down
I go go da like knock on those doors knock 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 pray without ceasing pray until something happens god will make a way he will send a helper so pray 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 knock on those doors they will be open so push through push through like be persistent my faith be persistent be persistent have perseverance and be patient be patient always pray and never be discouraged Humble yourself before God and do not be fearful. Trust that he will make a way. Trust that he will make a way. In conclusion, my beloved, I believe that consistency and persistence are a master key to answered prayers. I hope that this video has helped you a lot and please do not give up. Let us overcome our fears and be great and be the best versions of ourselves. Please comment down down below what you have learned from this video and what you take from it and how has this overcoming your fear series helped you and find it helpful or not please let us engage and comment and don't forget to tell your friends to tell their other friends to tell their friends to come and check your girl out Dando Sitole. thank you for watching my video and see you tuesday <laughs>